Hello everyone, happy Sunday. This is Miss D. And today I'm gonna be making Cornish hands and stuffed bell peppers. So are you ready to begin? Let's get started. So I have my Cornish hands. blood no matter how much you clean you wash this I hope y'all having a good day you know today's just one of the days but you just do the very best you can do so I have my Cornish hair Cornish hands. They've been washed, dried, and clean, and all of that. So I'm going to be doing four Cornish hands today. I'm going to season them, salt and pepper. You know, my root. My routine. Gotta make sure you wash those. You know these Cornish hands really good, but I washed them very well. And now I'm about to season them. Okay, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little extra um, season salt. Make sure you season them good. Catch all underneath the O's. A little accent like I use all the time. Again, I'm gonna put a little black, a little white pepper today. Like I told you, white pepper is very spicy. It's more spicy than black pepper. But I like it though. I'm gonna turn it over and do the same thing to the other side. on this side a bit. Make sure I got everything. Make sure it's all seasoned well. I hope y'all had a good weekend. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead. And put my corn shells in the pan. One of these days, I like to have a very large kitchen. This kitchen is so doggone small. It gets on my nerves because you barely have any room to, to, to think. So I'm gonna spray my pan. I'm gonna be good today, y'all. I, I, I ain't gonna do all that today because I don't feel like it. <coughs> Excuse me. I just wanted to come in and do my show today. See how you guys go, how you guys doing today. Put my Cornish hands in my pan. Keep your arm down. Now, I'm going to take some butter. And I'm going to put on top. I'm going to, I'm sorry, let me, uh, just sprinkle a little flour on top, just a little bit. Just light, like flour, not not too much. Don't overdo it. And that's it. 
then I'm going to put my butter on top. So you can use uh, as much butter as you want when it comes to your, your liking. You know, you can put less or more, but you don't have to put any. I just prefer to put butter on my Cornish hands. And I'm not using that much, as you can see. And then one more. And that's it. Then we're going to go ahead and put it in the oven on 360. And let it get golden brown. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to clean my mess up. Okay, so I'm going to be making my bell peppers today with shrimp and crawfish. So I have my stove, I have my stove turn on number five, and I'm going to go ahead <clears throat> take my crawfish. Cut my crawfish up. Don't cut it up too, too small. So I'm gonna take my shrimp, I mean my crawfish and put it right back in here. And let it keep sitting on all those good crawfish juices. Shrimp up, see my shrimp. You can cut it, you can cut it as as small as you want to, but I'm just gonna cut it about this size, like this. Let me show you about like so, like that. Put it on the side. But you want to be able to taste the crawfish and taste the shrimp. So I'm only going to be doing four bell peppers today. I'm not making a lot. <clears throat> Where is my... Oh, there we go. So, when I put my, I started browning my bell peppers because I like them a little tender when I eat them because I eat the whole thing, really. And uh, I just wanted to soften them up a little bit. Let me 
me see. I would say a little bit more, like fork tender. Cause I always um, eat my bell pepper, the entire thing. Like I don't um, throw it away. Like some people throw it away. They just eat the inside, but I eat it all. Cause I really, I really like bell peppers. Bell peppers are delicious. They really are. But I like the green peppers better than the red peppers and the yellow peppers. But if I had to eat between the uh, red pepper and the yellow pepper, I would eat the, the red pepper. We've been having a lot of rain here lately in New Orleans. And it looked like today's gonna be another day. Cause it's very cloudy. Very cloudy outside. So I have my skillet. But first, I'm going to uh, go ahead and, and brown my ground meat. I have about a pound and a half. I like to really have my pepper stuck, like kind of over stuffing. Okay, I'm going to just throw that in there. I'm going to wash my bowl. While my grub meat is cooking, and then when my peppers get soft to my taste, or however you like them, then just go ahead and take them out and stuff them. Oh yeah, I thought today would be a good day to make bell peppers. I was, I had a taste for it, and I haven't done it. I never done it on my show before, so I say, oh, why not? Okay. Now I have about. This is my seasoning that's going to go in my mixture with my shrimp and, and my crawfish. I have about seven cloves of garlic. I have a three quarter cups of uh, green onion. I have a cup of uh, bell pepper and I got a, a cup of onion. I'm not going to use all of that seasoning because what I do, I like to cut extra just in case, like I'm cooking something else for the week. I'd be like trying to do a shortcut because I'd be lazy. But I, but I really enjoy cooking, like I always tell you guys. So. So let me get my spatula. Let me go ahead and season my, my meat. About a tablespoon and a half of ground beef. About a half a teaspoon of accent. Or you can add a little bit more to your liking. Then you have some white pepper. Don't forget your uh, your parsley. I will see about a half a teaspoon. And then my garlic powder. See about a tablespoon. I'm just going to cook all of that together. I'm just going to mix it together, like so. Okay. 
I know it's kind of, I know you can barely see, but I was kind of, I don't like, sometimes I just don't like to tell y'all stuff. Like my, um, my app on my computer, it, just, it wasn't working. It, it just wasn't working today for my, um, for my camera. So I'm gonna have to find out what's going on with that. So I have to use my iPhone today. And that's, and that's okay. Turn this up on number six. So I don't want it that I don't want it that low. Number six or number seven. Yeah. Okay. So while that's cooking. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put this here. Now I'm going to drain some of this because, you know, ground beef make a lot, of, a lot of grease, you see, and I don't want all that grease. I don't eat a lot, I don't eat all that grease in my food, so. sauteed or cook it until it's golden brown. Cook it until it's golden brown. And then when it get uh, all the way golden brown, then I'm gonna go ahead and put my shrimp in my, I mean my shrimp in my uh, coffee chain. my plate to put that uh, my ground meat on. Put don't, 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 eat, don't eat a lot of grease in your food because that's not good at all. You know, always try to drain some of that grease off your food because <laughs> it's very, very important. So you see how much grease was left in there? That's disgusting. Okay. So I pour the grease, I pour the grease out of there, off of there, I should say. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take, I left a little the residue of the um, ground beef, but that's okay. So I put my crawfish in. I have my shrimp. And I'm just going to saute my small shrimp and my pork fish. I'm gonna take <clears throat> after I after I saute this a little bit, just to brown my shrimp a little bit because you remember they're gonna to continue to cook when you, when you put them in the oven. Just gonna take a little white pepper, just a little salt. That's it. Go ahead and stir that up. Go ahead and let that continue to cook. Just 
trying to cook the shrimp a little bit. You know, some people when they when they make the um, stuffed bell peppers, they like to add rice to their peppers. I don't particularly care for rice in my bell with my stuffed bell peppers. So I'm not gonna be adding rice to mine. But that's a tradition. Here in New Orleans, or I should say in Louisiana, some people like um, rice in their bell peppers. And some don't. Most of the times, um, they usually just do the stuffed bell pepper with the ground meat and they shrimp and whatever. But they barely ever use, you know, rice. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasoning. I'm gonna, like a handful of bell pepper, about a handful in the hand, like that. Then I got my green onion. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add all my garlic. And I'm gonna add my onion. About a handful. Maybe a handful of, uh, and a few, few sprinkles. <laughs> a handful and a half. Okay, so we're gonna cook that down. I'm gonna turn my oven back, turn my stove back down a little bit. And I'm gonna put my ground meat back in there. Cause you remember when I took it off? I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in there. Well, you know what I'm about to add to this, right? Mm -hmm. Y'all already know, y'all pay too much. You know I'm about to add some butter to this. So I'm going to go ahead and season this a little bit more. Put some more parsley. Turn it down some. About a half a teaspoon of uh, accent. About a, then you've got about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And then you got a, about a quarter teaspoon of your garlic powder. It's very good. It has got a good flavor. So we're just going to uh, go ahead and mix that up. two tablespoons. I'm gonna put that back in the fridge because it's getting because it's melting. So if your ground meat is a little chunky, you can always cut it up like this, like what I'm doing right now. Just keep stirring it up, that's all. Just make sure you stir it up. <coughs> I'm going to add just a little breadcrumbs, about a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. I'm 
I said a quarter cup to a half, okay? A quarter cup to a half, half a cup of um, bread corn. Let me join, mix all of that together. That's so good. Tastes very good. So you still keep on, you know, cutting your meat up, but it's still a little chunky. But some people like it like that. You know, everybody cooks different, like I always say. You gotta, you know, you use your own style. Everybody have their own style of cooking. I'm just gonna let that simmer for a few minutes. So I'm going to put my bell peppers in here. So I'm going to go ahead and spray my pan. Let this, let this simmer some more. And look, that came out really nice. Now what I'm going to do, sorry about this. I'm just going to take a, a little cayenne pepper or cayenne pepper, however you want to say it. I just be myself. Just talk how I usually talk. I ain't no fancy person and all that. And I'll just mix that all together. taste it again <clears throat> just to make sure the flavors are how I like it yeah I put it in my hand oh, it's so good you see y'all this is how I cook all the time I'm not no fake person I know you've never seen a cook who would taste food and put it in their hand but this is how I do in my kitchen. You know, now if I had the opportunity to own a restaurant, of course I would not taste food in my hand. I know better than that. But I mean, since I'm in my kitchen, you know, this is what I do. So I apologize if anybody get offended when I do that, but this is just me and I really don't care. Cause I could only be me. You know, I don't, I don't mean in the home when I say that. I'm just being myself. You know, I don't know any other way to be. This is how I cook. And that's all I can say. Put a little bit more salt. I think I want a little bit more taste in it. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn it off. All right. Let me 
get a spoon so we can go ahead and um, stuff in these peppers. I know I got a lot of um, mixture today, but I'm going to use that for something else. So I put my mixture in my peppers like this. Did you see what I just did? I took my bell pepper and I kind of scoop it in like that using the end of the spoon. And that's how I like that's how I like to do. Uh -uh. You try to get as much as you can in there and just form it like that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in the oven and we'll be right back. Okay? Hey everyone, we back. I just got finished um, baking the, the Cornish hands and let's see how they look. These are beautiful. Look. Wow, you hear that sound? Mm hmm. Mm, smells so good. So, when you put your, um, your cornish hands in the oven, of course, you bake them until they're golden brown on both sides. So, and I set the oven on 360. And so, let me show y'all something else how nice the. Um, the bell pepper came out. Mmm. So this is gonna be my dinner. Yes, it is. And I'm gonna take my Cornish in and put it right there. Isn't that nice? So let me sit it down so I can show you better. So we have <clears throat> delicious uh, bell pepper with crawfish and shrimp. And then we have uh, Cornish ham. So I just cut them in half, but it's oh, it smells so good. Came out nice. Very, very beautiful presentation. Now, when you put your um, your bell pepper in the oven, before you put it in the oven, just take a little breadcrumbs and sprinkle on it, and then you just leave it in there about 15, 20 minutes. So you then you take it out and just sit it on the side and let it rest. And that's, and that's what I cooked today on the Sunday. So we have, once again, Cornish hen. Mmm, beautiful golden color. And that's what you're looking for. And we have a stuffed bell pepper with crawfish and shrimp. It's been a blessed day. Even though it started off rocky, sometimes life is like that. It really is. Sometimes in life, you know, things go... A little array, a little awry, but you just have to know you can't let nothing get you down. And it's not easier said than done. It's not as easier said than done, but you do your very best. And then my situation, the depression is real. When I tell you guys how bad it is, 
And I swear, I could hear my mama voice telling me, look, you're not gonna do this today. Get yourself together. Get yourself together. And I did. I did. While the chicken was cooking, I'm sorry, the hen, Cornish hen, while it was cooking, I um, went sat in my chair, had to meditate, get my mind together, because this is what I do. This is what I love to do. And my mother taught me well. So it's always, guys, a blessing to stand up here and cook and do what I love. And <clears throat> I just want you to support my channel. You know, help, like I always say, help me out. It doesn't matter what race you are. Uh, if you love cooking as much as I do, if you love eating as much as I do, you know, subscribe like and share subscribe like and share i got it this time you guys until next time au revoir